Now the Berians were among noble, noble character than the Thessalonians, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. Many of the Jews believed, else did also number of premium Greek women and many Greek men. Amen. My soul shall return to the Word. My soul shall return to the Word. My soul shall return to the Word. God our Father of grace, on this Holy Lord's Day, thank you for allowing us to worship you here. With your great grace of salvation, we have become the church, and we are also here. We call on your name. And with the fullness of the Holy Spirit and the truth, we want to worship you, so please help us. May all of our worldly and fleshly thoughts 
removed. But please only work on us and help us for the service. In the name of Jesus, we prayed. Amen. Our Father in heaven, all of your name, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This time, let's pray for, only for, offering our souls to God so that the God will cleanse our souls with His blood. Let's pray all together. Jesus, 
깨닫지 못하고 방하는 자 하나도 없도록 되기 원하며 여러 가지 상처를 입고 여러 가지 마음의 아픔이 있는 성도들이라 할지라도 이 시간에 정말 우리 영혼 많은 하나님 앞에 거절 없이 온전하게 정말 깨끗한 물 입고 온전하게 우리 하나님의 모든 보혈의 눈을 전적으로 힘입고 온전히 하나님 앞에 그늘진 것이 없는 우리 성도가 되기로 하나님 저들을 받아주시고 역사하시고 인도하여 주시옵소서 우리 성도들 가운데는 어떤 다른 우리로부터 갈라져 나온 사람들과 같이 아니하고 정말 우리 하나님 우리 영혼들이 하나님의 참으로 이끄시는 온전한 이끄심과 우리 감동하시고 영원한 나로 이끄시는 우리 하나님의 열심 있는 모든 우리 하나님의 노력이 전적으로 효과가 드러나는 전적으로 순종하여 따라오고 전적으로 자신을 들여 수, 또 순교의 마음으로 하나님을 받아들이는 우리 모든 그런 자들이 다 되게 하길 원합니다 도와주시고 이 시간에 저들의 영혼을 받아주시옵소서 모든 멍지고 그늘지고 주른 잡힌 영혼이 하나도 없도록 도와주시고 저들의 영혼을 받아주시옵시고 저들의 영혼이 온전히 하나님의 지, 지시하심과 하나님의 지도하심과 하나님의 스시기에 합당한 순전하고 아름답고 회개하고 겸손한 심령을 하되도록 역사하시고 도와주시옵소서 도와주시옵소서 예수 이름으로 회개하며 기도드리옵나이다 아멘 The origin of the life and the blessings, God our Father, you have separated us from the world so that we can worship in spirit and in tears. Thank you for your grace. May all of us receive the great love and come forth through this worship service. Our faith should be approved by you. And also, we have to please you by the Holy Spirit, but we were deceived by the devil and were the spirits in the world. So we 
uh, sometimes followed our fleshly desires. Please have merc mercy upon us and forgive us. Uh, there have been so-called separation party who have tried to rob the church, even damaging the honor of the senior overseer. And also they have denied um, authenticity of the Songrak Church and the Barrier Movement alienating some saints from the church. Please make them repent. And some conflicts in the court of law caused by them uh, should be resolved. Um, so that the church will be recovered. Our faith is to rely on you and praying in the Holy Spirit and to be faithful to the offices that we have and we should love our ministers in the church and the saints as well and we should be filled with the power, spiritual powers and then for the next week through the events of rally may all of us receive the great comfort give the senior overseer and the overseer the wisdom and the knowledge and inspiration of the word of God and give them double portion of the spiritual wisdom of the ministry and make the family members enjoy the double portion of the blessings and also make all of us be filled with the powers so that we can drive out demons and oppose the devil and also that we can gain the victory in the spiritual battles and also make all of us enjoy the great blessing from you. Please, uh, to the saints who have to serve the church, give them the much grace and the blessing so that they can glorify you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your road and your step take afford me. You prepare a ta table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Oh 
그분을 보기 위해 따르네 평범한 목수이신 그분 앞에 모든 무릎이 꿇어 경배하네 모든 문제들 하나하나 죽음까지도 힘을 잃고 생명의 근원 대신 예수 이름 앞에 모든 원수들 굴복하네 예수 이름 높이세 능력의 그 이름 예수 이름 높이세 구원의 그 이름 예수 each other please God our Father on this Holy Lord's Day and there are those I thank you for giving us grace so that we can give you the offerings please remember those who gave this um, the offering for building the church Please help them and their family members and please guide them into much grace and blessings. And please remember those who have given uh, the tithe this time in accordance with your law. Make them be greatly blessed 
and make their family members prosper. And please remember those who give their uh, monthly offering as a part of the church. They, uh, they have done their duty. Please remember their love for the church. Please support them in their daily lives. And there are those who give the thanksgiving since they have experienced you in their daily lives according to their um, testimonies guide them to experience you more and more may all of the saints who have given offerings partake in the glory of God in their daily lives in the name of Jesus we prayed Amen I pray in the name of Jesus that you may be filled with the grace and the blessings in your daily lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Song Jugam. 
Even today, your servant has received the slanders. But even though my spirit received the slanders, the love for my friends and companions has been greater. And because of this, my spirit received the healings. If this is what you, Lord, Lord, desire of me, then I will all the more endure it eagerly. Your humble servant has not yet received the discipline that he deserved. The name and honor of his servant has been given disgracefully distributed, and it is still continuing. But this is only because your servant has been foolish. It is because your servant has valued his honor like his life and has treated his honor like a great possession. The only true possession is your precious blood that you have given me, the precious office of duty that you have given to me. In the world, there are countless numbers of theologians, but I not marvel how you have chosen a worthless servant like me. You have loved your servants so much that I believe and you are for the sake of the great reward that you have given me from the heavens, just like your servant Stephen. I have not stoned like Stephen. Your servant has his whole life labored in this one place. Your servant re remembers that he swore that he will only retire once he has breathed his last breath and has received a calling book to come back to you. And there are other uh, secretarians who are calling to bring me down. Your servant has insisted that there is no such thing as a retirement for a servant. Your, ha your servant has his whole life been preaching here, pouring out his blood, and is regarded as a great glory labor to the death until you come call him back to you. You, Lord, came on this earth. You have given me the life. Your servant, you gave your blood. You have given your flesh. You have given your name. You have given your clothing. Yet even man today desire a gamble to get it for themselves. Lord, even if someone would kill your servant, this church is still the church that your servant has established, and I am the senior overseer of the Songrock Church. In the same way you and your son had walked together, your servant and his son have determined to rebel until our death. Although the position of a seer has legally, legally been postponed, it does in no way deny the senior of a seer himself. No one can deny that your servant is the senior of a seer. From the moment that you have called me and until now, I have been your servant, and I will continue to be a servant until you call my soul back to you. Please give the strength to the speech and bodily endurance of your servants. Just as there are four seasons in the world, nature climate, there seem to be four seasons within this church. In the same way that the state of the world changes by season, so does the state of the church. There has recently been a hot summer, but now a cool wind is starting to blow in this new autumn season. And just as the grain ripens in the upper field, I pray that the faith of Songrock Church has also ripened. Even as the winter season comes, this church, which has compiled its Passover, will surely endure. The simple wish of a servant is that he could die for you. I pray that your servant will not die a foolish death, but that he will receive your calling back to you with glory. This is my lifelong prayer that I deliver to you. Today's scripture is Book of Acts, chapter 7, 30 to 60. Today's scripture is uh, chapter 7, from verse 30 to 60. After 40 years has passed, an angel appeared to Moses in the flames of burning bush in the desert near the Mount Sinai. When he saw this, he was amazed at the sight. He went over to look more closely. He heard the voice of the Lord. I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, 
as Zach and Jacob, Moses trembled with fear and did not dare to look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals. The place you are now standing is holy ground. I have indeed seen the oppressions of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groaning and have come down to set me free. Now come, I will send you back to Egypt. This is the same Moses whom they had received with the wars, who made the ruler and the judge. He was sent to be their ruler and delivered by God himself through the angels who appeared to him in the bush. He led them out of Egypt and did wonders and miraculous signs in Egypt at the Red Sea and for 40 years in the desert. This is the Moses who told the Israelites, God will send you a prophet like me from your own people. He was in the temple in the desert with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai with his fa uh, fathers. He received the living words to pass on us. But our father refused to obey him. Instead, they rejected him and their hearts turned back to Egypt. They told Aaron, make us God who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who led us out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. That was the time they made an idol in the form of calf. They brought sacrifices to it and held a celebration in honor of the what their hands had made. But God turned away and gave them over to the worship of the heavenly bodies. This agrees with what is written in the book of Prophets. Did you bring me the sacrifices and offerings of 40 years in the desert, O house of Israel? You have lifted up the shireen of the Molech and the stars of the god Rephan. The idols made to, wor made to worship. Therefore, I will send you to, into exile beyond Babylon. Our forefathers had the tabernacle of the testimony with them in the desert. It had been made as God directed Moses according to the patterns he had sinned. Having received the tabernacle, our fathers under Joshua brought him with them, and they took the land from the nation God and drove it out before them, remaining the land until the time of David, who enjoyed God's favor and asked that he might provide a dwelling place for the God of Jacob. But it was the Solomon who built the house for him. However, Most High God does not live in houses made by man, as the prophet says. Heaven is my throne, and the throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me? Says the Lord, or well will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things? You stiff neck the people with uncircumcised hearts and ears. You are just like the fathers. You always resist the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet your fathers did not persecute? They even killed those who pre predicted the coming of the Righteousness One. And you now you have betrayed, murdered Him. You who have received the law that was put into the effect through the angels have not obeyed it. When they heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at Him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Luke, he said, I will see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this they covered with their ears and yelling at the top of their voice, voices, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witness laid their clothes at the feet of the young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Together, then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against him. When he had said this, he fell asleep. Amen. Let's pray to listen to the message, to inspire the senior overseer and for all of us to receive the same inspiration when we receive the message. Let's pray all together.
오직 이 시간에 모든 원수를 멸하시며 모든 생각과 모든 인간의 속한 것과 모든 이론들을 제어해 주시며 오직 하나님의 것을 순수하게 받아들이고 꺾지 않고 받아들이는 우리의 겸손한 심령들이 있도록 이 시간 도와주고 역사에 주시옵소서 말씀을 전하는 우리 강건케 하시사 피곤치 않도록 도와주시고 하나님께서 친히 주시는 귀한 말씀을 요한하신 말씀을 선포하는데 하나도 부족한 이 없도록 하나님 강건함과 건강과 큰 영감을 허락하여 주시옵소서 하나님 아버지 God our Father Also for today, thank you for calling us to be here. To all of us, may all of us be filled with the Holy Spirit. May all of us listen to the message by the Holy Spirit. Please, Holy Spirit, anoint the mass of the servant here. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The mission of Stephen. Let's read today's outline. God is truthful. He was a friend of Abraham to the extent that his descendants would possess the gate of the enemies. In accordance with the spoken word, he nurtured the Israelite in the land of Egypt and through Moses commanded his people to come out of Egypt. At the time, the angel appeared to Moses and said, I'm the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah. God also said, Jehovah is to be the sign of the main to be remembered forever. He gave the people the law from the Mount Sinai, and he was with the Moses in the church of desert. Stephen has esteemed as a renowned and powerful saint. He laid down his life for the sake of his people. He relied on the name of Jehovah, the name given to the angels, by which one could not reach the salvation. He shouted out that he was Jehovah that condemns us. While Jesus was the one who saves us from sin and death, he did this to man the central faith of Israel. By Stephen preaching this word, Stephen finished the work he needed to do, became a martyr. He was a tremendous of Jesus. Even today, some people do not distinguish between Jesus and Jehovah, and therefore they are still bound by the law. Jehovah was the one who gave the law, while Jesus gave his grace and blood. He then finally sent the Holy Spirit. Let us strive again and again to know God. To know God, Jesus is eternal life. In this way, we are all witnesses. Amen. God is truthful. When it comes to truthfulness, we, as we have learned, the truth. It means the truth. He is the father of the truth. He said Abraham is his friend and he revealed his secret to Abraham. Abraham Abraham was the first person who knew the secret of God. And that was, God told Abraham that he would have the son in the age of the 100 years. And finally, he was made to have the son in his age 100 years. And then, he commanded Abraham to offer his only son as a sacrificial offering. And then Abraham, going to the Mount Mor uh, Moriah to offer his son as a sacrificial offering. But God made Isaac alive, returning him back, and he said, he is your offspring, and through him the seed will come out who will possess the gate of the enemies. That gate refers to the gate of their enemy, the gate of the Hades. Inside of Hades, the enemy, the devil, binds the gate 
to capture the mankind. And inside of the hate, all the mankind is to, was destined to die. But Isaac, the seed, offspring, or descendant of Abraham, and through that seed, the one who will broke the gate of the Hades will be born. That's what God said to Abraham. All of mankind was destined to go to hell, but rather, the mankind will be able to come out of the gate of the hell, the Hades, be through the one who will break the gate of the enemy, the gate of the Hades. And from that time of Abraham, for about 2,000 years, around the 2,000 years, for the very day God had prepared for the day and the offspring would come, at a time, Abraham had the firstborn son, Ismael, but God said, God said the Isaac was the only son because he was born from the real wife, Sarah. And through, and after the Isaac, Jacob was born, and Esau, because he had abandoned the blessing, but the Jacob deserved to receive that blessing. So the blessing, the authority of the blessing was handed over to Jacob from Esau, and the descendants of Jacob were nurtured in the land of Egypt. And concerning that, the Psalm chapter 105 says, there were only few in numbers. So God sent the descendants of Jacob to nurture them in the land of Egypt. To make them into a great nation. Why? God had promised Abraham to have the seed who will um, who would broke the gates of the enemies and through Moses he led the people of Israel to the land of, Is uh, land of Israel and to Jerusalem and in Bethlehem finally Jesus was born he spent for uh, 30 years in the in Nazareth and then in the Jordan River he received the Holy Spirit and he was driven by the Holy Spirit to the wilderness to the world where the devil ruled over in that way Jesus revealed himself to the world finally the Son of God he claimed about himself, I'm the resurrection and the life, which means I am the resurrection who will overcome these gates of Hades. Do you believe this? That's what Jesus said. In this way, as God had told about the secret to Abraham, Jesus was revealed as the secret of God. So after the time of Abraham, God made Abraham to have the son in his age 100 years.
And in Jerusalem, the one who will overcome the Hades appeared. This is a summary of the 2,000 years of the history in the Bible. In this way, God loved Abraham greatly that he opened his secret to him. So Abraham, after the creation, was the only person who knew God first. He has never seen nor heard God. Uh, he had never seen God, but he had believed that God will be his master, the governor. So he called his God the Lord, the master. The master told, tells him to go and come. He should go and come. So according to the order of his master God, he left his land. But he didn't know the name of God because that was not revealed to him. What he knew it was just God was his master. Even a nor nor did Jacob know the name of God. When he desperately prayed and wrestled with, with the angels, he backed him backed the angels to know uh, and tell him the name of God, but he couldn't re receive the answer. And in the Exodus chapter 2, uh, chapter 6, verse 2 and 3, it is written, the name of God was revealed to Moses only Mo to Moses for the first time that had not been revealed to the Abraham nor Isaac and Jacob. And the name was the Jehovah, the Lord. And God said, this is my memorial name, which means he na he he covered his real name. For example, my name is Kirong Kim. My real name is Kirong Kim. But I also use another name, Shimu Won. Shimu Won is my nickname. In the in similar way, Jehovah is a memor is a memorial name of God. And God also said, I am the God of Abraham and, ja and Isaac and Jacob. Those three persons didn't know God's name, but they called the God their Lord. The God, the three people served as the Lord. And that's, that's my name, uh, Jehovah. Jehovah is my uh, Jehovah is my memorial name and also in the book of Hosea Jehovah is to be the sign of my name to be remembered forever that means the secret of that name the real name of God was not revealed The people of Israel were led to Jerusalem and in accordance with God's will 
Jesus was resurrected from the tomb. From the time of creation, since the time of creation, there has been no one who was resurrected from the dead. And He is now the living one forever. He has over, which means He has overcome. He has overcome the gates of Hades. To Peter, Jesus said, I will build up my own church. My church can overcome the gates of Hades. Which means the gates of the death of Hades can never overcome the church. The gates of Hades cannot hinder the resurrection of the church. And after the resurrection of Jesus, He went up to the heaven and sent the Holy Spirit to His people. Now, by the Holy Spirit, we have received them. Without the Holy Spirit, we might have heard the Jesus news, but we would not receive Him because Jesus is only the one. How can the 77 billion of people can receive uh, the Jesus at the same time? But through the Holy Spirit, we can eat His flesh and we can drink His blood now. We now have His name in our heart. So we have received the authority as the children of God. We can call on God our Father and we can pray to Him. And at this time, since the time of Pentecost, and the church was revived, so the apostles anoint, uh, appointed sevens of ordained deacons among the saints and among them Stephen, Anania, Philip or among them and the seventh ordained deacon was Nicholas and Nicholas was from the Gentile. So his background was not that well known. Rest of the deacons were from Galilee or Jerusalem. But for Nicholas, he was from Gentile. And the finally, he caused a great problem among the church. Nicholas, based upon his own will, he pointed out the problems of the church. He tried to uh, drive the church in his own way. All the saints should have should have relied on the Holy Spirit. He might have been too smart, but he caused a great problem in the church. Even in the Revelation chapter 2 says, you have hated Nicholas. So do I. I do hate him, Nicholas. God really hates him. He was a wicked enemy. And for the rest of, among the rest of the six deacons, Stephen was one of them. And also 1 Timothy chapter 3 says, when you order the deacons, do not, do not ordain the deacons among the not the young people and test the saints to appoint a, to appoint deacons. And the Stephen was the greatest person with the great power among the among the rest of, among the rest of the saints. 
even then the Phillips, the stories of Stephen occupy the two chapters, book of Acts chapter 6 and 7. You have read many verses from the Bible, but you are supposed to read chapter 6 because I uh, to know the whole story of the Stephen. Stephen even raised up the lame. He has done he has done the many signs of wonders. He was young, he was prospect person. He had many days to preach the gospel, doing many miracles, signs of wonders, maybe three or four decades. He was guaranteed as a great preacher. And that person, Stephen, was captured by the people of Israel. Jewish leaders, such as the priest and the high priest and the law teachers, they were like the kings of Israel. Because by their decisions, one man would be would be killed, would receive the death sentence. Said so among the rally, Stephen was about to give his uh, testimony. He was filled with the power. With his power, he can purchase the gospel. He would be he would receive love and respected by others. But by the Stephen's witness, his life was to be slain immediately. If he blasphemy against the law or the name of God, he would be stoned because he was, he was commanded in the law. Among the Ten Commandments, from the first and the last, the fourth, for the four commandments, for any commandments, Anyone will be stoned when he violates one of the commandments from the four, first and the fourth. If one blasphemy against the name of God or the law, he will, should be stoned. But in that situation, Stephen pointed out the issue of the name of God. When people were with rage, he just remains being stoned. But he cried out one comment about the name of God. He had many days, like the 40 and 40 years of the ministry, but he laid down all, be, all of his the rest of his life to speak one thing. That's how he made up his mind. From Abraham to Jacob, they didn't know the real name of God, but they believed God as their master. And through Moses, and through Moses, the the name of God, the name of the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob was revealed. But that name was not his real name, but the memorial name of God. This Jehovah, Jehovah was the memorial name of God. So someone will pray, 
uh, our God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But they didn't know the real meaning of that phrase. When you say the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for about 500 years since the time of Abraham, none of the Israel knew the name of God. And that God of Abraham and Jacob and Isaac appeared to Moses and Moses heard the name the memorial name of God was the Jehovah. And according to Genesis chapter 18, Abraham saw him, Jehovah, and he, and he also received him in his house and two angels who were sent from Jehovah saved the his nephew Lord and his people. So when it, when it comes to saying the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, through the three generations, they didn't know the name of God, but through Moses, they came to know the name of God, Jehovah. And the Stephen said, the God who appeared to Moses in the burning bush was the angel of the Lord. And he said, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the angels who said, I will send you the back to Egypt. And in the wilderness, the angel guide the people of Israel with Moses. They stayed in, stayed in the wilderness with Moses and the people of Israel. At the time, the people of Israel feared when they saw the Moses' face because Moses Moses had met God so the Israelites feared that they would be dead whenever they saw the Moses face but the book of John chapter 1 verse 18 says no one has ever seen God no one there's no one who has seen God what they saw was just the angel of the Lord Jehovah, the God who appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Moses, that God was the angels. And the memorial name of him is the Jehovah. Until now, you have believed the angel of the Lord as God. And since the time of the wilderness, angel of the Lord has stayed in the wilderness. Even after you have received the law, which was given from the angels, you have not obeyed them. In Galatians chapter 3 also said the same thing. What is the law? The law was given through the angels until the time when the promised son will come. That Jehovah, that angels you have believed so far, didn't he give you the law? Give you the law, but you have received the law, but now you have not obeyed the law. You see, God. God is the Son of Man who died on the cross like a man. But he was raised from the dead and going up to the heaven. Now we can see the Son of Man up in the heavens. 
if you just imagine your God in your heart, you will not be saved. God has already made you touch it and drink His blood. And also, He has made you receive His name in your heart so that you have received the authority of the children of God. So the Stephen said, Look up in the heavens. I can see the Son of Man up in the heavens. And this preaching was a shocking to the people of Israel. And immediately, the people there started to stone at Stephen. And the, the Paul, the Saul, he supported the people of Israel who were stoning at the Stephen. In the time of Korean War, I witness. I I witness the trial of the communist. I couldn't describe what happened at the time. One person was surrounded, hundred of people. And the people surround him. Started to hit the head of the man. At the very moment they hit the head of the man, the brain of the man came out. I was shocked by that scene. In the same way, Stephen's head burst out and his brain would come out. Can you imagine that? His eyeballs will be out. His nose will be will be removed immediately. He will be his face will be covered with blood. Just imagine what the Stephen was like when he was stoned. But he made up his mind to give this preaching before the people of Israel. From the time of Abraham to his time, to those who have believed the angel of the Lord as God, who misunderstood the Jehovah as the God's real name. For that people, Stephen made up his mind to preach to a man the real faith of Israel, saying, our God is Jesus. Our God is, is not imaginary being, but He's Emmanuel, who was born from the, merge, the virgins, who was with the people of Israel. He died as a man, but He was raised up as God. He's now in the right hand of God's hand. He preaches this message. He could have the 40 and 30 and 40 days to give, preach, but he laid down his life for this message. The truth is much, much greater than your life. Since the time of 1962, I have been, I have, I was insulted by many others. Maybe two years later, I emphasized that the name of Jesus is the God, and Jehovah, Jehovah, was the name which was given to the angels. 
신학교 강의도 나간다는 목사와 다른 몇 사람이 목사들이 아니와 어, 나를 불러놓고. And some of the pastors call me, and they say to me, Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You be killed. You will die by the message. Are you theologians? You have not graduated the seminary. Then why are you pointing out the sensitive problem in the Bible? Are you a theologian? That's what they call. That's what they told me. But I didn't. I didn't yield. Next week and the next week for about sixty years until now, my message has never been changed. And since the time, I have been mistreated as a heresy, but I don't care. But I made up my mind to tell the truth. Like the Stephen, as I have said, I have not yet been stoned. But my honor has been seriously damaged, like being stoned. But I don't care about my honor because the, I have this truth. We have to tell the truth. This truth is much more precious than our life. Just to save your rest of your lives, would you lay down the opportunity for of eternal life or for the sake of eternal life? Would you would you lay down your rest of your life? But you will say because you will not tell the truth because you you value your life more. I have heard the previous the previous church member who belong to our church now they they are confused about the name of God they are turning back to the all days there will be no sacrificial offering for them they will wait for the judgment anyone who believed the name of the Jehovah as God will be judged when I saw the last moment the Stephen was dying think about the scene in the Roman Empire lost the generals from the battlefield he would be imprisoned on the ground but for the uh, the general who gained the victory in the battlefield among the great multitude of the people with the lines with the lines of the trumpets he will boldly uh, went up to the stairs to the Caesar and Caesar will stand up to receive him and the general will approach the Caesar to kiss on the hands of the king and the great multitude of the people will celebrate it that's the that's the best glory the worship service the meaning of the worship service is to kiss God it's like the general who kissed the hand of the Caesar kind of lost only the generals who have gained the, the victory in the battlefield can can kiss the hand of the Caesar the worship service, the meaning of the the meaning of the worship service means to kiss God. The meaning of the worship service is to meet with God. It's to kiss God. 
Only those who gain the victory can kiss God. Those who have failed in their daily lives for the rest of the six days will now come to the church. But who those who have gained the victory in their spiritual lives are willing to come to the church to kiss God's hand. I imagine the last day of my life and I tell the truth. The Jesus, the Son of God, stood up at the very moment Stephen died. Even the president in the funeral service of the troops, even the president showed his respect for the glorious troops in the funeral service. He bowed in the funeral service of the troops. He showed his respect for the troops. Like Cornelius, he stood up. Steep. I don't know when I would die. I have recognized when I was 70s, I was more energetic, but now I'm around the 80s, I lack physical energy. I don't know when I would die, but at the very moment I would die, the Lord Jesus will stand up to receive me. And I have, and after I imagine that, I'm so filled with the joy. But some others, when they would, when they would die, they'll be, they'll be demons to be cursed with the evil angels. But whenever, when I die, the Lord will receive me. I feel the great joy when I imagine that very day. So I have to tell the truth, even after my generation, the saints, my saints, have received the truth, the name of God. They have known the real God. This message will remain among the church. My beloved people, we should have the truth on our mouth, which is great, which is more precious than our lives. You should be the true witness of, of truth. Speak in a new tongue, new tongue. The new tongue. God has given you a new tongue, new tongues. God has given you the new tongue by the Holy Spirit. On the that's why the on the day of the Pentecost, the people people saw the flames of tongues. So speaking tongue means you have received new tongues. You are now witness of Jesus. Your tongues should be used only by the Holy Spirit. You should let the Holy Spirit use your tongue to give His message. We should be martyrs. Someone will come to the church, some rock church, so, but some other will, will say, Why are you attending the, that church, which is heresy? Many, many newcomers would heard that would have heard that the Songwa church is heresy, but some other members will be disappointed that and they will say, Oh, why have I come to this church? But I should be insulted just because I attended this church. I should be abandoned by others. Some others, some members will uh, will be in anguish, thinking like this. 
But the fact that you have become the Song Rock people is not from the destiny. Do not think that it is from the destiny. It is not. It does not belong to destiny. No one has been the church members just because of the destiny. Ecclesia, original term of the church, means to be called by God, to be chosen by God. And Jesus even said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. You are called by God to come to this Song Rock church. But now, this church has been persecuted by others. Because of what? What was the reason? I've been the trial in the court of law. But finally, see that. See the outcome. Prosecutors and evil people try to persecute me, prosecute me, but they'll be, they'll be failed. They'll fail. To be the witness of Jesus, we are chosen by God. Let's say, God made me a song rock person. Is it from the destiny? God has made God made me a song rock person. Is it my destiny? If it were the destiny, you would not be saved. So when it comes to church, the church means the congregation of those chosen people. 1 Corinthians chapter and verse 1 says, Saints are those who are chosen by God. Let's say, God has chosen me and called me. Why, why are you the witness? Like Stephen. Like Stephen did. Like Stephen. We should give the clear message to please the Lord. But once you give an evil word against God, you'll be judged in the later, as is written in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 36. As a witness of Jesus, we should be able to speak only of Jesus. Let's say, Lord, on my mouth, anoint my mouth so that I witness only of Jesus. Make me the witness like Stephen. Make me a mature. This is not the age when you will be stoned, but your honor will be stoned. But Lord will stand up at the right hand of God seeing what I'm doing. Please imagine. Stand up, please. Like Stephen did. Like Stephen did. Become the mature. It is not from the destiny that we have become the Song Rock Church people. Because even from the remote area, many people come to this church because you have been chosen by God so that you become the witness of Jesus. Let's say, please work on us by the Holy Spirit. Anoint. Real Control my mouth by the Holy Spirit. Anoint my mouth by the Holy Spirit. Book of James chapter 3 says, The tongue can never be controlled by a man. Only God can control over them. We have to be filled with the Holy Spirit to be a mature for the sake of the truth. For the sake of the truth. Let's pray all together. Pray earnestly.
more honestly, more honestly pray to be the man of the truth. To be the man of the truth. To be the man of the truth. To be filled with the Holy Spirit. God our Father, all the saints become one so that we can obey all your will laying down all of our private thoughts so make us be able to make the masterpiece for the Lord in the faith the world has provided us with many uh, obstacles, burdens, but may all of us be able to recover the church as a true the missionaries of the church. Please work on us. Make every one of us offered our faith in everyday lives. May all of us uh, comfort each other to make a greater church. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's, let's sing a burial on songs. Those who will be baptized, please come forward. May the grace of Jesus Christ and the greatest of love of God our Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon 
all the worshippers, Songrock people and their family members, all the variants throughout the world, forever and ever. For this coming week, gain the victory to be the one in the church. We should be improved. Please train yourself. And all the saints, give each other the testament of this, uh, the victories. Thank you.